about to leave. Already packing. Come with me. He's I'm not that's really that's asking. That's we'll get away to a place where we don't know. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to quickly uh, record a voiceover as an introduction for the video. I just realized after I finished editing that I never did an intro, so you would probably not have any idea as to what this is about at all. So this was when we went away to Malaysia and India for holidays in December of last year. This was such a big deal for me because it was my first flight after three whole years. Levi's first flight, Levi's first time going back to Malaysia and India to visit the rest of the family. So it was really, really exciting. I was chipping away for almost a week before the actual flight itself, trying to pack, find my summer clothes, buying new suitcases. We didn't have enough suitcase because it was always luxury and me all the time and we had enough suitcases for us, but not for Levi. And also in this trip, we had a lot of luggage space. So we needed two large suitcases for each of us. So I thought this was a good time to actually buy good suitcases so that I can use it for the next couple of years. You know, it lasts us for that long too. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I have split it into two parts. We spent a week in Malaysia, a couple of days in KL and a couple of days in Penang, which was my hometown. And I thought it will only be fair to split Malaysia and India into two different videos because first of all, it wouldn't do any justice trying to cram everything into one video. And secondly, I didn't want a video which was over an hour. I myself wouldn't have the patience to watch it. I don't think you will too. So I wanted to split it into two different parts. There are a couple of other videos coming up as well. After the India holidays, all of my shopping, I did massive, massive shopping. But I don't want to give away too much. I will have a separate video for that, okay? So for now, enjoy part one. Next week, you will see part two. And then part three and part four will be the shopping after that. Hello from London Heathrow Airport. We are finally getting on a plane after three and a half years. And I have been so excited for this day. We're going back to see my grandparents in India, but we're stopping in Malaysia first to see the rest of my family and friends. And then we're going to India. So we've got two weeks holidays, which is a luxury at the moment because we haven't been away at all in such a long time. I haven't gone back to see anyone. But yeah, we've come here already. 
this excitement didn't kick in until this morning. I've not really had to do much shopping or any shopping at all really. I haven't had to do so much planning or anything at all this time and we really didn't have the time because I tried to work, I tried to revive and all that. But it's finally sunk in today. We dropped off the car, I'm waiting for my mum here. My mother is meeting us here in London Airport and all of us are flying out together. Um, and yeah, I've, I've acquired a new friend this morning and also with a sore throat. <laughs> I've been struggling with a little bit of sore throat the last two days. My voice sounds a little bit different today. I really hope I don't fall sick in this flight. Three and a half years later, I really, really hope I do not fall sick in this flight or in this holiday. I'll give you more details about a holiday later on. We've just checked in all of our luggages. There's seven pieces of luggage between the three, four of us, including my mother. That lady was so, so helpful. She was really sweet. But we are very early, to be honest. We are here before three hours even. So it's quite um, empty. Not many people have checked in yet. So I think she's really sweet. We were well under the weight limit. We didn't have that much yet. But each luggage is not really within the weight limit. It's like 23.7, 23.6. But it should be 23. But she was just so sweet and understanding. She was like, fine. Oh, you can see mommy and Levi running in the background there. And she was so sweet, so helpful. She got us seats together. She got us our boarding pass for the second flight too because we will have a very, very short transit. She was really nice. And Lakshman wants to go and buy her lunch. He's like, should I go and ask her for a date? She's really sweet and helpful. I want to, you know, give her lunch. He's telling that to his wife, seriously. Maybe I could have seen it all coming for each day Am I the only one lost in translation Where nothing makes sense anymore She was checking out of her luggages, sat down, had the best view ever in Costa, watching planes. And it turns out, Le Levi loves flights as much as I do. I think it could be because this is his very first time seeing flights up close. And this is the first time he's going to get on a plane as well. But I really feel and I really want him to like planes as much as I do. I absolutely love flights. And I've missed flying so much. I'm really looking forward to it. This boy is mesmerized. Aren't you? Do you like the flights? Is it nice? He absolutely loves it. So here's a plan of what we're going to do. We're stopping in Malaysia for a week and then we're going to India for another week. I am most likely going to break the vlogs. I want to vlog the entire trip, obviously. I don't know Mommy. how much of my family and friends I will show. I don't know how much I will vlog and talk, but I don't want to limit myself. I know if I start talking, I'm going to talk a lot. But if I consciously tell myself I'm not going to talk a lot, I end up not filming anything or not talking anything at all. But yeah, we'll see however it goes. Whatever, you know, clips and videos I get, I'll make a video out of it. But I'll most likely split it into like one of Malaysia and one of India. And yeah, I mean, I'll keep you updated. This is Levi's absolute first flight. This is my flight after three and a half years. I'm looking forward to it, but I'm also nervous about how Levi is going to handle it, especially taking off and landing. As long as he's sleeping while we take off, I think he'll be fine. Mommy. Yes, baby. Mommy. Mm -hmm. He has been the sweetest boy ever. He loves the view in Costa. He's sitting there talking and um, He's well past his bedtime now, as in his night time now. So I'm hoping that he will fall asleep once we get into the flight, once we are seated and before we take off. And yeah, he's trying to lick the glass there. This is my first time in London Heathrow Airport. And it doesn't feel like I'm in London at all. It feels like 
I'm already in like Dubai or Kuwait or Middle East, that sort of thing. I suppose it's because it's Terminal 4 and um, yeah, I mean all Middle East and Asian flights are from Terminal 4 so I suppose there's a lot more Asians here. About to leave, already packing, come with me, I'm not really asking, we'll get away to a place where we don't know. for nothing at all. This boy was such a sweetheart. Not a to take off and landing. Even I felt such bad yosh. It was perfect, you're right. And I completely lost my voice already. How was your journey? Did you like it? Okay. Did you like it, baby? Did you enjoy your first flight? He's definitely taken after me about flying. Now looking back. Eyes on the freeway, Bonnie and Clyde A classic cliche, we're on the run This is what we waited for Second flight was an even better success than the first one Levi slept through the entire flight So uncomfortable And I lost my voice There's no more point in it I did the last time I saw you